if it is real, it's a compliment, right? Because like yeah. this this guy's wanting to bone his wife so bad, and his, Look, he's doing it in his sleep. I guess Rachel's boyfriend is not the only person who pulls this Houdini act to the point they decided to do a research project to keep this lie alive. <laughs> You are! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss! <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Good morning! And welcome to episode 1088 of Hard Factor. It is Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. I've got some great news in the cup of coffee in the big time. Fantastic news. Um, and of course, all of the other shitty stuff that also comes along with the trends as well. So don't worry if you're a fan of bad news. Got that too, of course. Hey, at least you have some great news that's better than some days. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a lot. A lot of great news. Some of the greatest news we've we've heard in a while, you guys. Uh, need to stick around for that. Mark's got the very real, very serious, and very rare medical condition of sex omnia on deck. Yeah, this may have affected some of you, and now there's an explanation for it. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> sex omnia. I, I pray for those who are stricken with this disorder. So serious. Uh, we'll get to it. And uh, Pat's got hot dog turf wars in San Diego in the hole. Yeah, you're going to want to stay tuned if you're into stories about food vendors and violence. <laughs> I am. Who yeah. isn't? Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who isn't? They have a lot of utensils right there. To yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And hot mm -hmm. water. Tongs. Oh, yeah. Go the hottest water. Hot fuck someone up with water. some tongs. Yeah. Oh, some tongs, bro. Yeah. Without the rubber on them. <laughs> yeah, without like I'm talking metal tongs. Take an eye or, out. You could, or heat it you up. You could tong an eye out. Yeah, you oh, can heat, yeah. heat a thing. Yeah, heat you can squirt them out. with mustard, blind them, and then throw the hot, stinky oh, yeah. hot dog water on them. You could well, do some distracted by the delicious smell. Yeah. It's like so. a torture Durr. kid a hot dog stand. It is. <laughs> then, you, then you can apologize to him by just giving him a delicious hot dog. Yeah. Yeah. Here, don't uh, sue. Yeah. All right, let's save. Uh, let's save some of the jokes uh, yeah. for, for the segment. No, those are uh, all. Those are all good. Just you I'm know. Done. We didn't even yeah. burn one. I'm just letting you know. But you were going a different direction. We didn't even burn one joke. That one there. guy who hates Fantastic. us uh, talking about the stories at the top is going to be like just oh, pounding. He's gonna, his, no, he's going to be happy because he's going to hate those jokes. Yeah. He just spit his coffee out right now. <laughs> Twenty jokes up front. Yeah. Wait till the real story. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Right. And uh, Wes, as a very generous Aussie tourist, to remind us all to be thankful this week as we head into the holiday to close things out on this episode. Yeah. She gave and then she gave some more. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh. God bless her. God bless her. Uh, yeah. Gotta be thankful. And, and most importantly, on that note, happy Thanksgiving. And why don't you celebrate Thanksgiving? Uh, by listening to fresh episodes of Hard Factor, both tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day, dropping a fresh one. No, that can't be true. No podcasts do that. Hard we Factor do it. does that. We hard do it. Wow. Oh, working hard. wow. That's indicative of our work ethic. Yeah, it really is. And that's worth telling a friend and family member about us on this holiday season. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't think that was good enough. Also, listen to a fresh episode of Hard Factor on Friday Get while you recover. Shut from the fuck up, Will. I wish you would just quit being a liar. I'm telling you the truth. Florida Man Friday dropping for everybody this Friday. Fresh. Hilarious. I mean, I, I'll believe you on Friday. I'll, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep an eye on the feed. Do it. Pat. <gasps> Do it. You might be surprised. He's totally telling the truth. Yeah, we've already recorded it. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> it's true. They're good. <laughs> it's good. They're good. Yeah, they're good. They're, new. they're good. <laughs> As always, uh, the Sunshine State always delivers. So does Hard Factor, as is evidenced by you getting fresh podcasts on Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving. Anything else, fellas, before we do the news? I think we just get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cup of coffee in the big time is up first. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. And today, our joke of the day comes to us from uh, Tampax Official their Twitter account, uh, and uh, they say they tweet um, on November 21st uh, at 7.47 a.m. to start everybody's day. 
Uh, you're in their DMs. We are in them. We are not the same. Tampax. <laughs> uh, wow. At Tampax. Yeah. So. That's pretty Weird good. Joke. That's you, like pretty, you like it? Is that the official? Uh, I mean, it's intense. It's it's not for everyone, but I mean, it's it's my type of humor. Like we've joked in the past, uh, sophomorically about uh, uh, coming back as like someone, some hot chick's underwear, or like being a butt plug or something. A tampon is not a sexual. um, Well, yeah, it's well, still. I I mean, look, it's it is phallic. It's not for everyone, (laughs) but I understand. I understand the humor. It's doing some uh, hard work in there. Uh, Here's some great replies. Uh, Bridget Fatesy says, oh, thank God you were gender neutral in your rapey tweet. So, <laughs> great point by Bridget. Uh, and then uh, this is the joke of the day. Honestly, this reply from uh, Laddison. He says, so am I, but with no strings attached. Oh, <laughs> that's really good. No strings attached. I also saw a good one. Uh I like that's, that. One. That's better. But I saw a good one where someone put up a bottle, a spray bottle, and it goes, "You've now been sprayed with the B normal bottle," which is funny for any anyone. Right. But the well, reply, they bonked, to, they, everything. But the reply to that was, "I think they can handle a little liquid." <laughs> <laughs> I get that too. That's that was funny. Yeah. yeah, ultra absorbent. Yeah. Um, uh, another bonus dog uh, joke of the day from Monkweiser um, in the Discord server. He says. I used to date a girl that had a twin and my buddy asked uh, how I told them apart. And I told him it's real easy. It's simple. Susan uh, paints her nails purple and Scott has a cock. Yeah. <laughs> fraternal. Some, some people don't think twins. Yeah. They can be fraternal or whatever. Yeah. 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 Classic. Yeah. Great one. Good. From Monk good one. You guys know the Olsen twins are fraternal, right? Are they? I saw you it, tweeting about that. What's the what's yeah? Going on? Oh, you, don't do you ever that. you ever catch your partner in a situation where they're so completely positive of something, a random fact that you're so completely positive that they're wrong about? That's usually yeah. when a fight happens. Uh huh. That happened with me, Kate yeah. and Olsen twins, because <laughs> they're <laughs> they in fact are slightly different looking. They're absolutely. I blew Kate's mind. And she goes, "How do you know that?" I go, "Do you remember that guy that you met at my little family thing last week?" She goes, "Yeah." And I was like, "That was the dad and how the West was fun," which is a Mary Kate Nash Olsen movie. And she was okay. like, "Oh, yeah, I was like, what? Hmm? ah, yeah, no, I, I'm not familiar with their film." It's film okay. His name's Patrick Cassidy. You can check Miss- him out. Oh. oh, okay. He's handsome. He stole your credit, though. Well, that's why I go by Pat. Missed the How the West was fun film. You missed Me How too. the West was fun. Yeah. What about When in Rome? Did you see When in Rome? I heard of that one, but I, no, I missed it. These are all okay. Olsen twin movies? Yes. Wow. Can't believe we missed them. What about, did you guys see New York Minute? No. Nope. Missed it. Uh, sorry. We'll have to catch up on those. Uh, let's move along to the honorable From mentions, Cuties guys. fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't discriminate against the, the knowledge I keep in my head, Mark. It's what I, you know, whatever comes to me, I store it away. You seem to be an expert in one. I'm, I'm, run away I'm, from, I'm, uh, I'm half of the pop culture yes. expert on the show. I thought never going to run away from Black Beauty's shadow um, <laughs> talking about Olsen twins uh, movies. OK, yeah. let's move along to the honorable mention. Sports is up first, because if I'm going through the newspaper, I'm doing the funny section first. Joke of the day. C- cartoons. And I'm going to sports next. Yeah. Uh, paper yeah. over. Then, yeah. Well, no, we'll go. We'll get to the rest of the paper later. But first sports, uh, the World Cup in Qatar. It's still going on. And if you're a USA fan, you need to be thankful this week uh, that at least we didn't uh, have to build the stadiums. A big bonus. And uh, at least we aren't two time uh, World Cup champs. Argentina, they shockingly lost to Saudi Arabia on Tuesday. And now they are in win or go home mode for the rest of the tournament. Probably going home at some point. Number two ranked team in the world loses Mm. to Saudi Arabia. Ouch. What happened in that France Australia game? France came oh, back and smashed. France smoked Australia yeah. four to one. Uh, the frogs were jumping. It was incredible. Uh, but Pat, shockingly, uh, Denmark tied Tunisia nil nil, and Mexico also tied Poland nil nil. Two games back to back, zero goals. That was Mexico's goalie saved a PK on Lewandowski. Right. What? Yikes. Incredible. They're That's all right. named Lewandowski. Man, it was something. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but the World Cup. I mean, even though it's Qatar, it's. Uh, every day has a must watch, must watch, must watch, must watch group stage game all the way through next Friday. Uh, and you add college and pro football on top of that. What uh, this Thanksgiving is going to be a sports feast like never before. It really sent, is. 
I sent you guys the onion um, meme, but I thought it was the best onion meme I've seen pretty much all year. And it was it said uh, Saudi Arabia upsets Argentina, celebrates by flipping woman over and setting her on fire. <laughs> well, Wes, <laughs> Wes they, they might not be far off. Uh, <laughs> Saudi Arabia, Wes, actually uh, created a national holiday in honor of the win. So wow. they're off as we're as we're uh, you know recording it and you're listening to this. So who oh, knows? Definitely don't want to be a woman when the men are all drunk yeah. and celebrating in Saudi Arabia. Oh my God. Well, is alcohol not banned that day or like well, whatever they, they whatever yeah. they do? Yeah. Opium. I don't yeah. know what the, what you get loose on over do, there. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, you want to, you mentioned that the stadiums. Do you have are you going to talk about the one stadium? No, no. Go ahead. Yeah. So <laughs> it was really depressing watching the. Um, I think it was the Mexico Poland game, which was zero zero. So not only was it depressing watching that, but the announcers kept talking about how that particular stadium, and there's like eight or more stadiums around eight stadiums. The one they play that game in was made of shipping containers. So they brought, they mm. got a bunch of shipping containers, made a giant stadium. And they said, the second the world cup ends, they're demolishing it. And oh, so man. it's like, how many people died to right. make that one? You know? Exactly. It's, it's yeah. why are you talking about that? When probably the least people, amount. Hopefully I, I hope that one least, in particular, I guarantee you, you at least a few people died mm -hmm. and, and they're just getting rid of it. The second they also built roads leading into the uh, stadiums and ramps and all these things like infrastructure bridges. So like, I, I don't want to hear about how the stadium is getting demolished. The oh, it's disgusting. I mean, the yeah. guitar thing has got to teach everybody a lesson. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, there's hopefully probably dudes trapped inside some of those containers yeah. right Ooh. now. Right. Yeah, dude. in this concrete and shit. And like in yeah. the. Put oh, it on top yeah. of them. You don't even want to mm -hmm. think about that. Yeah. yeah. 6,500 people are saying died. Oh, more. That's, oh, that's dude, the, it's, that's it's a unknown. It's estimate. completely yeah. unknown. Yeah. So they, what is watch it? any documentary on it. It's completely so what, unknown. It's 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 way worse than any estimate. Imagine what this is like. I'm trying to put it in context. It's like the Great Wall of China. I, I've never done construction, yeah. but but I, but I imagine construction probably on a big job. You don't know everyone, but yes. you, you know, you, you know <laughs> people. Yeah. If one person dies on your construction job, that's definitely something you come home and yeah, but, but they Pat, all, these people like they humans, all, Pat. They're there's from, no they're OSHA flown, over there. They didn't have cell in, phones. Yeah, they were no they're flown from other countries. They weren't getting paid. Yeah. They were kept in uh, kept places. In slums they knew where they were working the city, and living, yeah. so they brought them in all all together. These weren't human it's beings. Insane. To them. They were, just watch right. a documentary. It was like people building the pyramids or the Great Wall of China. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. And that's sad. Also, sadly for Pat, related to soccer, Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo uh, has yes. been let go, Pat, uh, by his professional club, Manchester United, and he's left teamless. Besides Portugal, Pat, he's the captain of Portugal, uh, and they are in the group of death he will be playing on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, he wasn't you know, really let go, Will. He, 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 look, he was at Manchester, he left Manchester, Mutual he came back, and things... According to team bod, it looks like. According to Ronaldo, he's always on team bod, he's, he's the king <laughs> of team bod. According to Ronaldo... When he left Manchester, he came back 10 years later and nothing had changed. There had been no updates of facilities of or their way of training. And Ronaldo came in there and he said, I'm Ronaldo. You yeah. haven't you haven't even updated the pool. So and they Pat, had and Ronaldo said, mm, not for me. And he criticized them on Pierce Morgan. He also did. Yeah, is that, Pierce, did you get that Pierce from the, Morgan. The, the talk TV uh, appearance he did earlier? No, I watched the whole that. Pierce Morgan um, interview. Well, I, he also to said while he while doesn't respect to the manager at right. all. Right, that was the other issue, right? And then so that usually you get let go after that. And they um, had images of him. They have this huge billboard in Manchester of like it's like David Beckham, who's one of Manchester United's best players of all time. Someone else, I didn't see if it was Giggs or whoever else, probably some other icon. And then the current day, Cristiano Ronaldo, and they were just d, d wallpapering this twenty story like banner. <laughs> trying to get rid of Ronaldo today. <laughs> well, also uh, bad news for the group of death because now Ronaldo's playing for a contract in the World Cup. So. Yeah, that's mm. true. He'll be fine, man. He doesn't. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He will be fine. I mean, he's, he's already fine. But yeah, he's, 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 he's a he makes five hundred thousand dollars a week. Yeah, yeah he's OK. Fine. No, he's OK. Um, over here in North American sports, Patrice Bergeron and the Bruins in the NHL are on a blazing pace this season. Uh, Bergie recorded his one thousandth point. Uh, this week with another Bruins win. They're just smashing everybody. The Niners looked incredible in Mexico City on Monday night in the NFL. Uh, and speaking of the NFL, A.B., Antonio Brown, remember we had a little dust up with him uh, earlier this year. He's still losing his mind on social media. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, surprise, surprise. He posted a fake nude of Giselle on his snap for some reason. What is that Tuesday. face, dude? What yeah. is that? <laughs> it's clearly Photoshopped. 
Uh, no, it looks a, like someone's wearing a Giselle mask. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like a, like, like a stretched out that's model not Giselle. Picture. I don't know yeah, how you. No, not I don't, at all. Yeah. Okay. Not at all. But it is her face swapped onto some other girl's body. But it's like um, an ugly picture of her face. Like it's a fucked yeah, it's up like a face. Transvestite picture. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. And and by the way, guys, that is a black bar that's been added. He posted the full nude version. Uh, his Snapchat. Oh uh, yeah. So who's Antonio the Brown is. <laughs> It, the uh, West, the body. Well, no, I can't the nude on here. I uh, oh, mean, you know, in this case, for, for tastefulness, but um, the body was nice, Wes. Uh, but Antonio Brown, I mean, he's like the Vincent Van Gogh of CTE, and uh, he has everybody watching and wondering what crazy thing he's going to do Tom, next. Tom Brady yeah. went, at least to the public knowledge, Tom Brady went is the only one that went to bat for this lunatic. Right. No, and he sent him that text, <laughs> and then and then yeah. Antonio Brown like put it out, like, "Oh, Tom's a crazy one." And everybody's like, "No, Tom's telling you what a friend would tell you," and you're just insane and you're not yeah. listening to it so uh that yeah, picture indeed. kind of ruined giselle before me i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean uh-oh giselle's ruined for wes <laughs> sorry sorry giselle. <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> got him uh, <laughs> all right single, uh, you know ish mm -hmm. yeah wes no, not interested thank not you. anymore <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not for me <laughs> lost your shot giselle take that uh, um okay <laughs> Uh, another honorable mention. Let's move on to the other part of the paper, the news, unfortunately. But we got some entertaining stuff. Dr. Fauci of the NIH, guys, you remember, he is really finally retiring. Uh, and his final White House press briefing went exactly as you'd expect this week. Uh, after he gave his closing remarks about how you know wonderful of a human he is and how much he sacrificed you know, in his life for the nation, all of his years of service, and how everybody needs to get COVID boosted forever until they die now. Some reporters wanted to ask questions about uh, the origins of the COVID-19 virus and take a listen to how that played out in the White House uh, press briefing room. Yes. Dr. Fauci, um, only 13% only of- Hold on one second. We have a process here. I'm not calling out on people who yell. And you're being you're being you're being disrespectful to your colleagues and you're being disrespectful to our guests. I will not call on you if you yell. And also you're taking time off the clock because Dr. Fauci has to leave in a couple of minutes. I, I'm done. I'm not going. I'm not getting into a back and forth with you. Go ahead, Jeremy. Dr. Fauci, um, but, but only, she's only she's third grade question. You're not being answered. You ask your question. You should allow her to answer. Jeremy, 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 it's Jeremy. Jeremy, it's Jeremy. It's Jeremy. It's Jeremy. Jeremy. It's 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 Jerem
Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, because, it's not like a mob because, of weirdos. You know what I mean? We're like, because the answer, yeah, they're credentialed. Right. The answer coming out in the press uh, the day before Thanksgiving would fucking be horrible. Is this why? Right. They're they, like, yeah. wait till the fucking yeah. congressional hearings next year. We're not right. doing this year. That was literally right. what she said. Um, OK, uh, last few honorable mentions in the real news. <laughs> uh, Jay Leno is already on the mend from his burns. Congrats to Jay. Hope we see you again real soon, Jay. Uh, Sinbad oh, yeah. is Looks still in recovery. <laughs> what happened to Sinbad, man? <laughs> Two years ago, he had a stroke. He's still in recovery. Apparently, he's he's working on a stroke. Uh, Madonna uh, he can't won't walk stop. after nine months. Sorry, well, he he still can't walk. The yeah, stroke, bad. the stroke he had it was Sinbad. A, a, such a serious stroke that only thirty percent of people survive, and he hasn't. He's still learning how to walk nine months after. Right. What I took away from it was as good he was alive after yeah. how bad of a stroke. Yeah, was, I was going to say he's doing better than I thought he was doing, which was dead. Better yeah. Than so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. people like, have been messing with Sinbad's Wikipedia for years for some reason. No, nah, like I thought. Yeah, like I thought he was doing worse off. He's, he's like help. He's starting as Mark says, he's still bad, but he's recovering, starting to recover. Uh, Madonna won't stop showing her nips on Instagram. She keeps getting kicked off. This is the latest picture of the nips. Um, Who she thinks uh, she is, Britney Spears? We don't care. Yeah, and this is the other. Who does Britney Spears I, think I, she is? Me says Madonna. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's like, I'm the original. Uh, everybody look at my tits. Uh, and earthquakes, guys, have been a real motherfucker this week. Over 200 dead from a 5.6 earthquake in Indonesia. A 6.2 earthquake hit Baja, California. Uh, shocking rumors uh, that Mark Zuckerberg might be leaving Meta soon are also circulating in California. That's oh great! Let's quake. change the name. Let's go all in on VR. Then you bounce. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> it, maybe it's a rumor. And SCOTUS made a landslide ruling Tuesday that says that Trump's tax returns are fair game for the IRS to release to House investigation committees. Uh, in the end, that's probably good news uh, for the American people and very bad news for all U.S. presidents, especially Donald J. Trump. I mean, it's it's not bad news for all U.S. presidents because all U.S. presidents before him and after him will share their tax returns. This guy is still in court fighting to not put his tax returns out. If you know what is in there. Right. He's still you, fighting. If you can, he must have spent five million dollars in legal you fees. You know, full IRS records for any president. It's certainly not comfortable news. For you all. won't need to. You won't need to. You will for sure. I want to um, see the laptop and I want to see his tax returns. I bet there's some funny ass shit that he wrote off. In oh, yeah. We're hopefully we see shit. all of it in yeah. 2023. It's going to be great, guys. Yeah. Uh, which brings us to better news in the cream of the crop. First up in the cream of the crop. Do you guys remember the drunk squirrel in Minnesota from over the summer? I'm playing Sounds the video familiar. on silent for you. And uh, there it is. It's yeah. like uh, wobbling over it was fermented peaches <laughs> yeah, yeah. in the bowl, right? Yeah, Some lady yeah. in Minnesota left out the fermented peaches. You see him. <laughs> Look, he looks like a heroin addict. Uh, squirrel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It looks yeah, like the guy that's trying to get beer. That one viral clip where he's trying <laughs> right. in, the, in the grocery, yeah, in the convenience store. He snaps yeah. back. He yeah. snaps back, grabs the bowl. He's like, keeps going back to the bowl, falls oh, over shit. again. <laughs> he's like, oh, shit, I'm fucked up. And then, oh, back to the bowl, oh. grabs the bowl like a smart little drunk. Uh, squirrel. Well, uh, the homeowner guys had left the peaches out that had fermented, became alcoholic. The squirrel got hammered. We all love the video. Millions of views over the summer. Peta the son. It. What's that? Peta hated it. Peta, ha Peta did hate it. In fact, it got pressured to be taken down because people were like, it's not funny to get animals drunk. Anyways, yeah. the son is now reporting that the squirrel has finally recovered from its hangover successfully and is fine and they're reporting this five months later and immediately after buying the rights to the viral clip of the drunk squirrel so that they could post it again and get millions of views and they don't care about what Peter says the squirrels so. like giving speeches at high schools <laughs> <laughs> so the squirrel survived everybody Peter, it's okay and now uh the owner who was pressured to take it down by Peter and the lunatics uh who love Peter, uh has now sold it to the sun and everybody's still loving the drunk squirrel video so, that's awesome. Good news all around, right? That's the good news, yeah. That's pretty cream of the crop, if you ask me. And finally, the creamiest of the crop of all time, probably. The new 4K planes, trains, and automobiles release apparently includes 75 minutes of deleted scenes, yes. including this one from John Candy eating a hot dog and smoking a cigarette at the same time inside the airport. Uh, as he's sitting across uh, the aisle from uh, Steve Martin. And I regretfully have to play this on silent right now on the show, but I encourage everyone to go check it out as soon as they can oh, on social media. Fuck yes. <laughs> <And> smoke is <laughs> billowing out of every bite. 
Yeah. <laughs> Martin's disgusted with them. It's a chili dog, too. Big yeah. chili dog. <laughs> Onions. <laughs> Del Griffith's right. just munching. Oh, it's peak man. happiness. Sig, other hand. So it's a paper, paper plate of the hot dog. Sig, other hand. Oh, he dropped a bean on his shirt. <laughs> Put the Sig in. Puts a cig in. Now he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna flick the bean off his shirt. God. Ask somebody to move out of the way of the trash can. Airports. All right, this is terrible it. radio, but this oh, is fantastic. He, I can't <laughs> wait to see this entire seventy. He's got to tee it up. Now. You got. You have to go on social media. And have you guys here. seen planes, trains, and automobiles yet this season? No, I'm already yeah. one viewing in. Ah, it's not my Hail. favorite. Oh, Two points. Dude. Flick the bean into the trash Oof. can while smoking the cig and eating the hot dog. It's tough to Steve Martin ears, writes Pat. grotesque into his crossword. Uh, it's cinematic gold. Uh, I, one of the best scenes I've ever seen. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Top yeah. ten. I wish they had smoking flights. That would be that would be like the you don't want to be on a smoking flight. Well, yeah, I would smoke cigarettes all fucking mm -hmm. all fucking plane ride. Really, dude? I think you should be, be able to do what you uh, want yeah. on a flight. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be smell so smelly. I don't mind. Kind of like plane. a time when I can't be smoking. I like that. Mm. You, you, I don't know, man. Private. Think, Fly I, private, dude. They'll let you. I think progress kind of got it expensive. backwards on flights. You know, flights are supposed to be luxurious like it was back in the day. Well, Pan thanks to a few Relaxing. assholes that blew them, blew up planes and like you right, know, put but, bombs in their shoes and blew them into buildings and shit like that's why I bet if people could smoke, there'd be a whole hell of a lot less of these instances where people are losing mm -hmm. their minds. Some guys mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm not going to bomb today. I can smoke. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, do you see John Candy? Do you think anybody <laughs> doing that in the airport, smoking a cig, eating a hot dog at the same time is about to have a, you know, a, an about episode to, on the yeah, flight? lash out on a flight. No, it, they're going to have it, another cigarette. It could also yeah, mask the smell of his chili bean farts. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I'll bring the bombs. And if I get stressed out, then I might bomb. <laughs> exactly. Oh, smoking exactly. flight. Everyone's safe. No, as yeah. long as I maintain a cool composure. <laughs> the guy next to me offered me a cigarette and I will absolutely not bomb anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you have cigarettes to act. To, you could put them out on the terrorists. If this man has that. saved your lives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, as always, John Candy nailed it. John Candy is the cream of the crop every day, honestly, since he was born. Uh, and that's today's coffee. And today's cup of coffee in the big time was brought to you by First Person. Uh, we all want to turn back the clock. For some, uh, it's vanity. Others, just to relive the glory days. Uh, for me, I would love to wake up every morning with zero brain fog, a clear mind, and be as energized as I was when I was younger. And thanks specifically to the Sunbeam, that's the yellow uh, tin of first-person uh, supplements, uh, I can do that. Uh, and I can also take a more active role in my brain's overall health at the same time because that's what the benefits of first person are with their mushrooms, nutraceuticals. After witnessing the deteriorating effects of Alzheimer's that they had on their father and grandfather's cognitive health, brothers Chris and Joe were determined to take their brain health into their own hands. 25 years of research and experimentation later, they created First Person, an innovative, precision-targeted co cognitive supplement system which uses brain-boosting medicinal benefits of mushrooms to activate the full potential of human cognition and brain health. First person supplements are made with functional mushrooms aimed to stimulate the body's natural production of specific neurotransmitters that trigger activities like energy, mood, and sleep. First person uses 100% grain-free organic mushrooms as well as a highly curated blend of nutraceuticals sourced from best-in-class vendors. Uh, and I love the Sunbeam. It's got energy, focus, all the things that I want uh, from my first person supplement. The Golden Hour, which is the, the orange tin, is like a, more of a social thing, and the Moonlight is for sleep. They all work great. Mark West, what do you guys like? I like all moonlight. of them. I, I, I daily I take the moonlight, but I, I'll take mm -hmm. the the social one when I'm hanging out with people. Uh, before, yeah. But yeah, I like all of them. Same here. Same here. Uh, Sunbeam is the only one that I take on the reg. The others I'll take anytime I, I feel feel like taking them because they're all great. Um, start improving your brain health and cognition with first person. Get 15% off your first order by going to getfirstperson.com and use code Hard Factor. That's G E T F I R S T P E R S O N dot com code hard factor for 15% off your first order. Get firstperson.com code hard factor. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. You guys want a good gift idea? Besides first person, of course, but you guys want a really good gift idea? Yes. Yeah. For the holiday season. How about a gift package from Omaha Steaks? I'll take that would it. be great. 
that would be something you'd want to get for yourself, right? Like if you received that from someone, you'd be like, wow, who the fuck sent this? Uh, I'd like to thank them, right? Because this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I already went went through my whole thing. I'd like to thank Omaha Steaks for sending me a gift box uh, because I already went through all of it. Mm. Ate it all. It was absolutely effing delicious. Um, So, yeah, why don't you guys go ahead and get yourself or your friend, family member, the gift uh, that will be, you know, very appreciated this holiday season. And that's the gift of Omaha Steaks. Mm-hmm. Omaha Steaks is the uh, America's original butcher since 1917 and a holiday gift that's guaranteed to be loved. The holidays are here, achieving gifting greatness uh, when you give the gift of perfectly aged tender and delicious omaha steaks that's what you want to do that's gifting greatness the steak experts at omaha steaks have put together special curated packages to help take the guesswork out of gifting uh, and make you a holiday hero go to omahasteaks.com and use code hard factor at checkout to get 30 dollars off your first order you can send an assortment of mouth-watering favorites uh including the um legendary butcher's cut filet mignon air chilled boneless chicken Ultra juicy burgers. I mean, they're they're thick boys. The burgers, uh, and even easy to prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. It's great, absolutely delicious. Uh, Omaha Steaks is ready to ship your order right away. So shop early and beat the shipping rush. Go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code Hard Factor checkout. Uh, mm. It's a great gift. It's a gift from the heart. A gift that will be remembered with every unforgettable bite. Order with complete confidence today, knowing you're ordering the very best. Visit omahasteaks.com. Use promo code HARDFACTOR. Check out to get that extra $30 off your order. There may be a minimum order to get that $30 off. So, yeah, do it. Okay. Get now, in there. let's get to this major story that is unfortunately finally being brought to people's attention. Um, an extremely well-kept secret of, of what I guess... Uh, some would call toxic male masculinity is being exposed today, just like gaslighting uh, and paying ourselves more at work and dominating mm. sports ratings. Mansplaining. Yeah, mansplaining. You Isn't gaslighting it. the best? It's yeah. The best. <laughs> I, but, I, but I don't do it. <laughs> right. No, I never do it. But I don't do it. It looks cool. That's a I'm sorry you feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's well, a gaslighter on something. Oh, okay. I guess it's. I, I guess it's just because I'm a terrible boyfriend. I think you're looking at it that wrong, you know? Yeah, here's the <laughs> gaslight that's that's actually been brought to light. Have I been fucking you in my sleep? <laughs> oh. I've been Wait. asleep the whole time. Uh, the sexist male trait of sex omnia are, is, is finally being written and talked about thanks to a woman who is going by the alias Rachel and talking about her, her husband or boyfriend bangs her in the middle of the night while he's, quote, asleep. So he's doing what no. we all do, right? No, that <laughs> doesn't vigorous, exist. Have vigorous That's sex with their wives or girlfriends when they're of asleep. Course, of and course. when they wake right up, there. pretending guys, to be asleep too. This, guys, don't blow the, this guy's cover. Yes, it yeah. happens all the oh, time. I Mark. was asleep too. Uh, and then carrying on the illusion forever, as Rachel said her husband does. Like it's he's like Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you <laughs> didn't. You, you didn't come. Uh, I would have got. I would have focused on getting you there, but I was. Just, I was sleeping. I was asleep. Yeah, this guy's method acting. I can't do it all while I'm asleep. He just ignores the shit out of her. Yeah, he's just like, what? She's like, honey, what are you doing? And he's like, did they say? uh, Did they say how it developed? Was he was he (laughs) not getting laid while he was awake? So the first thing he tells her when they start dating, he's like, there's something you need to know about me. Uh, (laughs) I I choke in my sleep. Okay, I just yeah. So just so you know, I choke you. Yeah. Well, that's where it leads. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I'm a deep sleeper. They're calling it sex omnia, guys. I guess we all have sex omnia from time to time, right? Uh, right? No, <laughs> I'm call kidding. It night, night rape. I'm kidding. Me either. Exactly. It's a it's a bit for the show, guys. I'm I'm a big I time. Mean, uh, I mean, it's, conscience it's, consent person. It's, it's, it's a, a girlfriend, yes. right? It's a consensual arrangement, right? Is this? Uh, well, I would say no on the girlfriend, but I'm a type of guy that even after I marry you, and the state says you're my property, I'm still going to get a, a conscious yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I keep my receipts right by the bed. I I, I have one of those uh, things like when you when you get get an order done at a restaurant, I have my wife consent like yes, I do, and then That's she right, writes well. it on a paper, and then I put it down. I'm like, yep, okay, now it's time. I have my wife on recording saying, uh, I could fuck you in my sleep in your sleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just for the judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But Rachel's boyfriend isn't. He's he's literally method acting and pretending like he's asleep the whole time, like he's Daniel Day Lewis, like I said, in my left foot. And I'd say my left foot. 
that he's yeah. he's asleep. I say bullshit mm-hmm. is what I'm calling it. Rachel mm-hmm. claims homie really hammers it too, and that she sometimes enjoys the sleepy sex sessions. And then, uh, wow. he, and when she gets really into it, he will wake up six out of ten times. So it sounds like he bangs her until she wakes up, and then pretends to be asleep until she gets really into it. Yep. And then when she starts moaning, he wakes up and he's like, "Where am I? Am I on a ship? Oh, if it's going oh, good. I'm yeah. inside you. I'm inside you. You're okay with it, right? Awesome. Well, I guess I should continue." And this idiot Rachel buys it hook, line, and sinker every H- time. Hook, line, and stinker. <laughs> I mean, it's brilliant, really. It's really it really is, Wes. It is, and it's common, guys. Let's not, <laughs> hey guys. Let's, let's not uh, guys. forget that many people <laughs> suffer from this, it's and that we've all we all understand it. Right, yeah. This guy, we don't want to blow. We don't want to blow. I'm uh, I'm looking at uh, sleepfoundation.org about what some of the triggers of sex omnia are, and one of them is shift work. So be careful out there. <laughs> yeah, those of you guys who are married to shift work job, it's <laughs> menial pay. <laughs> <laughs> shift work parents I mean, that are divorced a, if it is real if it is real it's a compliment right because like yeah. this, this guy's wanting to bone his wife so bad and his, Look, he's doing it in his sleep i guess rachel's boyfriend is not the only person who pulls this houdini act to the point they decided to do a research project to keep this lie alive <laughs> and these guys out of the doghouse in jail uh so the project was done in 2017 and it found that uh only 17 out of the 16,000 participants are so obsessed with having sex with their partners while they're asleep that they faked having sex in an overnight study. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they had to keep it going. A few of the guys in line are elbowing each other, like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pretend. Of course, well, you, if you want this to continue in yeah. your life, you have to be one of the guys that it happens to. You you yeah. volunteer for the study <laughs> and you put on your you best acting it. face. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this you is you never give up the act. Yeah, ever. Some of the other triggers are drinking alcohol past or current recreational drug use stress or anxiety right. sleep deprivation depression poor sleep hygiene shift work. guys wrote this i, yeah. I have all of these Pre- and- stalking <laughs> charges in the past <laughs> the guys that do this move wrote those symptoms yeah, yeah. right the uh, girl denying you yeah <laughs> yeah, one, yeah. Of, <laughs> one of the ways of coping with this says boring. locking yeah. the bedroom door is how to <laughs> yeah. cope with it yeah. <laughs> sex ominous by the way range from full-on rapist to masturbators so some of these guys were just getting caught masturbating in bed while their partners were asleep and they woke up and they got caught and they pretended to be asleep while still jerking off <laughs> I'm she's like what are you doing and they're like, <laughs> just keep the, keep watching whatever they're watching on porn all dudes getting, getting oh, caught 94 cases of sex omnia have been reported since 2015, and I think 92 of them are dudes. Yeah. Listen, guys have gotten off a <laughs> yeah, of murder but, from yeah. claiming that they've been asleep by while uh, committing murder. No, it's, this is this I is know. literally been used in court by yeah. defense attorneys being like he's a sex yeah. om- omnis. Right. No. Oh, that's it's, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's it, in most cases it's just rape. I'm sure there's yeah. once in a blue moon where maybe someone cops a feel when they're asleep, but getting full on penetration, I'm not buying it. No, Rachel's going by an alias because she knows it's fake too. Yeah, She's, everybody knows it's fake. This, <laughs> can I get a, Can you get a card for this? That's a, like a doctor's note. You pretty okay. much need to if you're going to sleep in the same bed with someone, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, right. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, they think you're just a night rapist. So, what do you guys yeah. like the thermostat at? I got to warn you, I'm a sex a sex omniist. Uh, Is that a you, you got a lock on that door? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're a werewolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> There's Avoid, definitely something uh, I should tell you before we have a group vacation. <laughs> right. Sleeping in a separate room is one way to cope. Locking bedroom doors, avoiding all known or possible triggers, setting movement alarms, particularly right. in cases associated with sleep uh, walking. Like, uh, like what? Like they put like an alarm clock on their stomach or what? Chastity like, belts for the people sleeping with them. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I don't. Divorce. I don't buy it, and I can't, I can't believe guys are so into it that they've taken the lie. As far as getting it classified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's almost commendable. You'll do anything to to defend. (laughs) It really is. Once you weren't getting laid and then you came up with this thing that got you laid, you'll do anything to defend. Oh, no. Well, it's all people that were getting laid. It's because it's got to be people in relationships. Not to the extent that they wanted to. It's just guys that like that that want to fuck dead chicks. They're insatiable. No, no, no. they need more. They need more sex than they were getting before this. It's it's definitely. What Will's saying, and potentially in a few cases, what, what Pat's saying. Ah, that's a real bad yeah. one if it's what Pat's You'd be saying. asleep, that, too. It's a real You'd be psycho. asleep, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Guys, go. <laughs> uh, let's go to California. 
It was quite the scene in San Diego on Saturday night um, as concert goers left the home of the Padres, Petco Park, after they were grinding their teeth and getting COVID to bangers by English DJ Duke DeMont, who I hadn't heard of, but apparently he's stadium level. Guys, uh, Dookie D, uh, the music fans had worked up quite an appetite, which uh, they coincidentally realized as the meth-laced Molly that they uh, bought in the bathroom began to wear off. But lucky for them, there was an army of eager hot dog cart vendors waiting to fill up their bellies with pig lips and assholes served on a steam mm. bun. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Love that. Yeah, I mean, nothing better than getting out of a concert and seeing a food vendor right there. Am I right? Uh, yep. I'm like, get, give me the John Candy so I can rip a cig on my meth molly and... And I mean, it's amazing, the, especially because it's like it's not only is it yeah. so expensive inside stadiums, there's usually long lines. You're tired as fuck. You've been on your feet all day. You're coming down from some serious stimulants. It's nice to be able to just get a two dollar hot dog right? Utah. or a five dollar hot dog. Utah, give me two. Is this, two. Is this pro- the way you're describing it? It's probably like the, the drunk, the drunk rush to a food truck, but even more intense. Yeah, big time, big time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, guys, uh, the, the normal crowd of sunglassed San Diego and hot dog purveyors were there. Um, this kind of their areas, their territory. Uh, they were ready to, ready to serve up chili dogs in the chillest way possible. But the event, I guess, was so big, there wasn't too much going on sports wise that weekend. And that I guess it seemed to attract some hot dog vendors that no one on the hot dog scene there in San Diego recognized. Oh, right? that's a big problem scabs big problem. well i here you be the judge so I- instead of padres and chargers hats um some of these guys were wearing dodgers hats and angels hats lakers oh, clippers came raiders kings rams some of them were even wearing chargers hats wow yep it was pretty clear that these unfamiliar dogmen were from los angeles oh. yep. so they didn't have permits to be there Oh, yeah. Whether they did or they didn't, Wes, I don't know. Does everybody have a permit to sell outside a stadium? They didn't have permits from the local (laughs) sellers. They didn't have permits. That's what really matters. They didn't didn't check in. But if that's the case, then fuck those guys that, that that, that think they own the fucking spot that's the best oh you're on the side of the traveling guy that came into from out of I'm not, town I'm not, the steel business i'm not necessarily i'm not necessarily i'm not necessarily on the on the side of the traveling guys but i'm on the side of any local person that would go there these guys were local to try to i know why is saying free market local. he's saying look yeah, i agree free market but shop. if you're going to drive four hours out of the way to steal someone else's market i don't i'm not like for you it. can't just take the best spot and then be like it's mine forever like fuck that shit Wes, I will say this <laughs> to, to shed a little Nobody light else on can sell hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. Only I may survive and feed my family to shed a little They're light on what Wes out, is out saying. Families from San Diego to shed a little light on what Wes is saying. From what I read, the permitting process for food vendors in San Diego is extremely strict. First oh, off, is. well, and that's, yeah, that's, ch- and that's fair. There's been, there, there's been recent uh, legislation related to the uh, the permitting of food vendors. It's been harder. You tell me there wasn't an event in L.A. that weekend. There could have been, I guess. Basically, the scab came down, like you said. Here's what I know from the paving business. We have that group of friends that's in the paving business. They call these guys gypsies. And I don't know if that's derogatory in this case or not. Oh, it's derogatory. Okay, that's what they call them. Travelers. It doesn't. It's not like, um, oh, the guy. Compliment. Oh, that guy's a gypsy. Well, (laughs) it's not like the guy who's (laughs) always derogatory from a state away. (laughs) It's not like the guy who's from a state away is doesn't have business right, right. It's, it's that he's not the greatest paver right, right? so so they're always i look and i there, there's a you know negligible difference in, in hot dogs served out of a cart but i don't know the local hot dog is illegal man, Th- those those guys are just performing what those uh, gypsies illegally. are doing operating illegal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. illegal yeah it's gypsies illegal, synonymous yeah. with pieces now shit, west yeah. west nailed it because they don't have the permits so right. the, so you now you you roll in without the permits Right. You, go, you got the permit guys with their hot uh, hot dog utensils ready to go. Then you guys are right such rule followers. Forget about the permits. It's not about the permits, guys. Okay, guys, yeah, every, you are, permit. everything is going to be better truck, than dude. it was before because the gypsies have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear that sentence very often. No, I get it, Mark. Guys, the local <laughs> hot dog men and the carpet bangers 
were staring each other down. And uh, the, w- one side was waiting for the other side to make the first move. And the tension, it, it built like the beat of the last song of the night as the time inched slower and closer to the post-concert rush. So as these hot dog men were facing off, DJ Duke DeMont was putting his closing song on there. And if you know anything about house music, it usually has quite a build to it, right? So that was the soundtrack to this tension that was just getting tighter, tighter than the skin of a jumbo dog. And the pot guys really boiled over when uh, one of the L.A. dog men set up in an area the San Diego dog men considered to be their turf. And an all-out brawl took place. Fists That's and frankfurters awesome. flying everywhere. By the time the to police... The backdrop of like... Mm-hmm. Yep. Sandstorm. Yep. Yeah. Just house music. <laughs> Guys, by the time the police arrived, there were as many as 15 people involved in the hot dog free-for-all. And at some point, Damn. before the police added the unwanted condiment of pepper spray to the situation... <laughs> One of the dog men was stabbed in the back, literally this time, by one of the other hot dog men. Oh, a gypsy stabbed someone in the back? Shocking. We, well, yeah, we don't know, guys. It was a gypsy. <laughs> we, look, okay, so the L.A. We, guys stabbed the locals? It was a gypsy, yeah. It was a well, cursed. It was a cursed. Will, I got to oh tell you. Goodness. <laughs> okay, here's the situation. Yeah, get them. Get them out of here. Hey, yeah. hey, you guys can't jump to that conclusion. We don't know. The article didn't say what, what we do have a photograph of the man that got arrested. But the problem is, is he's wearing a Chargers hat. So it could go either way. His broken yeah, ass nose. He got it fucked could go up either way. Yeah, he, got, go he, stabs, way. he was mad because he got his ass kicked. He got he, his nose broken. Yeah his, yeah, his nose was very broke. He got his mm-hmm. ass kicked. He got got, got back up. Stabs. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is not only obviously assault with a deadly weapon, but it's also explicitly against the bylaws of the International Brotherhood of Hot Dog and Kielbasa Vendors. Um, I don't know about I, that. I don't, I don't see these guys retaining their cards after this situation. Yeah. Um, Depends on who stabbed who. Well, it, this, the stabber was Yoni Yanes. Again, we don't know where he's from, and the, and the Chargers hat doesn't help. If he's um, not one of the regulars get doing the dogs, the regulars are going to get a medal. For defending the turf from I, I do want to say I do want to say wa- one where thing. Where's wash hands in that booklet? I haven't seen that. It's not in the booklet. Yeah. Wes, you said you said uh, they're just trying to feed their family. I don't have the clip, but the, there was an interview with some of the San Diego hot dog vendors who said we're just trying to feed our families with this business, and these guys are coming down from Los Angeles and uh, taking our turf. Listen, that's fine if it's a permit game. Um, that's that's fine. Forget about the permits. No, no, that's it's <laughs> the most the important permits. aspect of this whole fucking story is the permits is. and yeah. and why why it's a big deal if these people came from out of town. If it, if there were no permits are involved, then these out of towners are more than welcome to be there and and make business um, just like uh, everyone. But a else. permit a permit is like is like it's like calling your dad to to intervene in a fist fight that you're no, having they with had the neighbor to put boy. The work in to get yeah, the and they paid for those permits. Yeah, usually paid. I understand What's the what city's you're job saying. To enforce I still them. think they're assholes if they came from L.A. and there aren't permits in San Diego. Stay in L.A. There's plenty of events going on in L.A. Yeah, but again, they're gypsies. Yeah, but they oh, I, I don't know if I can say that, guys. It's like, but I, no, it's, it's, like, it's like Pat said. It's because they suck, so they've already ruined their reputation in L.A. with their shitty hot dogs. So they go to the busiest event that they can make it to in a day's trip, and then they, ha- they have to get business because there's just so many drunk people that, of course, they're going to get business. They have shitty quality. They don't take pride in their work, and they just go stealing business from people left and right. That's what's wrong with it. Stealing business from people. Yeah, I don't like that they're their gypsies. Families. Yeah. Mm. The city of San Diego sells or requires vendors to obtain permits to sell food on city sidewalks. However, it's unknown whether the out of town vendors obtained the correct licensing. If anyone involved was permitted or if anyone involved was permitted, the other guys might not be permitted either. That's that's tricky. If no one, a lot of unknowns, who stabbed who and and what's the permit situation? Guys, I'll end with this. Usually Petco Park relishes its safety and it sounds like they really need to catch up on this recent crime wave yes. we must we must ardently stay on top of it mm-hmm. and if i was the cops i'd really grill these guys <laughs> got them <'em. Yeah. laughs> got them that, that that's great great pat this, yeah um all right guys uh one more story uh there is no sadder place on earth this time of year than an orphanage right just 
Yeah. <laughs> Compared to any other time of the year. <laughs> it's just well, worse now. It's worse now. Parentless kids <laughs> trying to celebrate the holidays without families. Really sad Never situation. Been this parentless. Yeah. yeah. It Did seems to be hitting Oliver? harder <laughs> in the, yeah. and during the holidays. Yeah. Really, it makes you think about adopting a kid for a few minutes. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and if you aren't up for adopting, uh, there are things you can do, uh, like donate food, clothes, toys, things the orphanage needs. Ruffle things, their head and say, hang in there, kid. Hmm. Right, Slugger. Things, things that will brighten, brighten <laughs> yeah. up those days. Uh, you can also do what Australian tourist Kelsey Foster did while uh, visiting Bali, which is show up to an orphanage for young boys uh, with rice, noodles, cooking oil, toys and candy dressed in a sexy bathing suit that's going to give these boys enough spank bank material to get them through the lonely holidays. And uh, mm, here they are nice. lining up for lining up for hugs oh, from yeah. Kelsey. Let's yeah, look uh, at the I'm one kid here you the go. Back. There's there's what you need to see. Yeah, she's she's attractive and she's okay. she's dolled up for sure. Mm -hmm. Can you yeah. go back to the one picture and look at the kid, how sheepishly he attracted he is to her? The first one you have. Oh, up? well, they're all they all just look at that. Kid well, yeah, background. I mean, oh, they yeah. don't face. they don't want to press themselves too hard into her massive tits, but he's, they want to at the same he's time. He's trying right. to not have a, his boner like because he knows he's next for the hug. He's yeah. like, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, <laughs> A lot of guys it's, awkwardly hide, hiding their little boners. Here's yeah. this picture. They're 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 giving the thumbs up. Young I mean, have you ever seen a better orphan and tit combo in your life? I haven't. No, this is this is like what they should do on those commercials instead there. of like the the dead dog, the dying dogs, or the kids mm -hmm. like for one dollar, like the sad music playing. We'll Put send we'll up. send this dr whore, whore lady yeah over to the orphanage. If you don't make wildly inappropriate, five bucks a month, well, she we'll, wants to fly her over there to be a whore. It's her choice. It's her choice. <laughs> right. <She wants> to <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> each each tits like a parent, and she's giving them all hugs. You know, I thought I could maybe donate some blood to your pants region. Yeah, <laughs> no, this is what the kids want they don't care about like uh the quality of the rice they want they want this lady over there she didn't have to whole, bring anything quite frankly the whole class yeah. is happy i mean the yeah. pictures they're ecstatic so yeah they love it but not everyone was happy with the good deed kelsey what? accomplished the internet is full of haters and seeing an attractive and buxom woman covered in tattoos and a revealing outfit it was just too much for some people to take okay so they well, looked, Wes, before you keep going mm -hmm. how is this any different than when the kardashians do this shit when they show up in like it's African no different, Will. It's it's yeah. actually like this is dressed, like in the Kardashians. Well, do, don't try to rationalize why these people are mad. These nut jobs are mad at her. Yeah, but they're no, probably at the same time. They're probably like Kardashian fanatics. No, know? but like, Will's I mean, got a like, point because the haters were saying what they say about the Kardashians when they do this is that they're only doing it for the photo op. And that's what they said about this chick because she posted these, you know, wonderful pictures Who cares? on social media of her you know look i mean hey, she's giving out teddy bears look at the tattoos on her thigh doesn't look it at her all boil down to the orphans being happy regardless of who's got how many followers you're that's absolutely all that right. matters in this scenario and she's spreading a good message it's not her fault she just has yeah. tits for days it's not she her doesn't fault. have tits for days well but yes. she's got well she's, she's got look. So she's buxom She's and, working and she's showing she's it off. Got, yeah. Her body, she's with the tattoo combinations. And Look at that picture, Pat. You tell me those aren't the, tits for this. Yeah. I, I swear to God, if you saw a photograph of what that person looked like in high school t and today, you wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be able to pick her out of lineup. That's not the point. It's Pat, today she she's at the today. orphanage. Today she's looking like about? this and at the orphanage. Pat's a hater. Pat's one yeah. of these haters. Yeah. She's Pat, not Pat, looking Pat, good today. Oh, Pat, I don't Pat, care how Pat's how mad about this, bro. You don't think I'm not mad. Good? No, I don't think she looks good. I really don't. You don't think she's brightening these boys' days? I think that she is. Okay. Okay. Pat, and why is she why is she brightening their day? Because <laughs> <laughs> of the shitty toys that she brought them? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You think they like this little stuffed blue bear? No. Yeah. They like the tits. They like this. The yeah, I'm tattoo. not denying that. Everyone's got their people. Some people have good taste. Some people have bad taste. I know. OK. All right. So you're saying that she's not hot enough to to be charitable. With Pat's her saying client. that the orphans also have bad taste. I'm not saying she, right. I'm just saying she's not attractive to me. That's all I'm saying. He's saying the news has bad taste is what he's saying, because this made news. Right. And, and the orphans, all the, all the she's all not the hot enough orphans. to make news. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody in this situation seems like they're below your level. Yeah. Not the orphans. Well, but, but they're, they're happy. Like the but they're looks. the ones that are the happiest. So listen to them. Happy they are. What aren't you guys understanding here? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't find the, this woman a particularly attractive because she's That's hot. Fine. I'm asking I'm you to see all of it. I'm That's asking fine. you to see through the bullshit veneer. <laughs> Pat to a she's, B Belizean orphan. She's eight? a she's a fifteen. <laughs> yeah. It, this to is a like Belizean orphan. Yeah. Belizean orphan. Yeah. 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 She's a twenty. Can you believe it? She's a twenty. 
She's, There's a group she's, picture. She's perfect. I mean, look, look at her. She's perfect. Her. Look, Giselle's got her. nothing on her. Yeah, she's she's my new Giselle. Giselle's nobody's dead to that. me. Oh, she's way hotter than that Giselle picture. <laughs> kidding me? It's my new Giselle. <laughs> nobody's saying that at all. We're just saying that the kids are happy to see her. Giselle's not going over there, putting her, shoving her tits in their face. So yeah. it's really a, a moot point there, isn't it? Yeah. So a lot of people were saying that, um, uh, you know, the, she need, next time it will be probably be better uh, respectful to keep your puppies inside your clothes. One person wrote another person wrote. It's not something children need to experience at a young age. Uh, they, yeah, it they're is. They're like 12. They're like 13. What is she talking yeah. about? It's yeah, going to motivate def- them to get out in the world. Put that photo back up of, of them, like hugging her. Which I'm one, Pat? Which one? The one where they're all happy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. No, no, no. Where they're uh, outside. The hug line? Yeah. So, hug so- line. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all laughing because one of them just said in, in Spanish, if it's Belize, uh, that she doesn't understand. about. They were just talking about their boners in Spanish. Yeah. That's why oh, they're yeah. laughing. It's yeah. Bali, not Belize. Bali. Oh, uh, Bali, Bali. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what I don't they know what they Bali? speak out there in Bali, man. What's the Thai language? It's called like something else, though. Bat or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's the, another that's the currency. Another person suggested that this could actually be an orphanage where they are abusing these children, and it's actually like a secret sex sex ring. Um, you know what? But I, I'm Wait, cynical, what? but I even I can't even turn I can't turn a large titted woman, you know, visiting an orphanage into a into a conspiracy that, for yeah, a sex. How ring. creative do you have to be to like just? turn it into like the whole backstory of the orphanage right. and where these kids were well mark at least that's consistent with the kardashian reaction because everybody tried to say that too you know like i mean the the sex ring thing everybody just reacts anytime there's a, an adult uh with with a child a sex ring comment it's uh, like screaming fire in a, in a movie theater you're ever since a- pizza yeah. game. It's, yeah. it's just everybody's yeah. running a sex ring so not that she needed to give an explanation as to why she showed up to the orphanage looking like this but she did Um, She said the driver and myself checked it was okay to go inside wearing swimmers and they said yeah and they invited us in especially um, this guy who uh, who almost kidnapped me at the end of my visit. Um, yeah, <laughs> who runs the orphanage? Yeah, he was asking like. to escort her. Around. I'm not sure if he's the driver name? or what, but yeah. He had a lollipop in his The children <laughs> didn't care what I was wearing. They had the biggest smiles to see all the food and things I took them, and you know my tits. So, so have you guys seen where Bali is on a map? Yes, yes. right next to uh, Thailand, right? What would you describe yeah. it as? Uh, it's tropical. tropical paradise. Yeah. So. Yeah. You think these kids have seen a bathing suit before? She said it was 33 degrees Celsius. It was hot and humid. A bathing suit with a cover up in fucking Bali. Yeah. It's like being in the Caribbean. Yeah, it's a goddamn island. Right. They speak Indonesian, English, and Balinese. Right, Uh, Right. it's Indonesian. She was wearing a swimsuit with a cover up in a tropical island. Let's get over it. She's an Australian. It's like right next to Australia. Yeah. 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 She's a generous, charitable Australian. I, I'm I for one am thankful for her and her mindset. She added yeah. to top it all off. She purchased all the shit she gave the the, the uh, orphanage from a local family owned shop who said the money will feed them for more than two weeks. So this woman's just out there doing the God's work memories forever. And the haters are saying that she should cover up in front of these kids. Yeah. Who, you know, hey, can you can you cover up in Bali? Yeah. God, <laughs> idiots. I mean, people hate on they are. Nowadays. People would be hating. Am I right? Yeah, you right. Yeah. So that's that. Thank you, Kelsey, for spreading um, this good message and um, she's fucking being charitable and looking good. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's, it, like like she's wor- obviously like putting a lot of work into her, her, her looks and trying to mm-hmm. look better. And she's uh, helping these kids lives. But fuck her, man. These Bet kids those don't kids need are- to know kids <laughs> exist. Yeah, those kids are probably sex slaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those sex yeah. slaves don't need to be sexified That's by a sexy internet. woman. Yeah. These kids that probably didn't even get the chance to breastfeed don't need to yeah. see those tits. Anyone that is yeah. upset with this is a big old stick up the doo-doo hole. I agree. So yeah. That's that. You want to bring up the wheel for next week or what's the, what's I the do. plan here? Wait. Uh, yeah. Yes, I do. Monday's cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah, because tomorrow's show at the top. Tomorrow and Friday shows are new, mm-hmm. but we don't have yeah. cups of coffee in them. It's just like a Florida Man Friday and like a shoot the shit Thursday. So this is for high five first. No, we, I think nope. we did. Have I got high five next yeah. week. Oh, OK. This is Monday and uh, coffee. cup of coffee in the big time is going to be. Ooh. West and a squeaker. 
on Monday. See you out there. West by a tit. <laughs> yeah, West by these these tiny tits. <laughs> <laughs> right, Pat? I mean, <laughs> ooh, barf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not just not for me, man. Just yeah. not my cup of tea. So, okay, that's all fine. good. Let's well, that's going to do it for us. We hope that you enjoy your Thanksgiving, and uh, if you, if you know, if you have an opportunity to visit an orphanage, um, do so because uh, they Be need hot. all the love and gifts and happiness that they can get over there because they don't yeah. have any parents. Be uh, thankful for what you got. You're not right. an orphanage, hoping that's that right. a chick with. Uh, you know, what are big to you, but small to pat tits walk in and makes your day better. Yeah. If I had tits like that, I would do nothing but visit orphanages. That was, that's had, oh, my God. We need yeah. to go back. to OK. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> Where's Wes? Probably at an orphanage. <laughs> yeah. He's visiting his third orphanage of the he's day. Got those tits. <laughs> be addicted to smiles. <laughs> Ever since he got that big <laughs> set of tits. He's just, <laughs> he was gifted yeah. an incredible right. pair of tits. And he's really doing good work with them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. That's going to do it for Heart Factor. We love you. Have a great fucking day.